This video will examine key elements in the ARCS model. The ARCS model is an instructional design approach that focuses on the motivational aspects of the learning environment. Instructional design is a process by which instruction is improved through the analysis of learning needs and systematic development of learning materials. Instructional designers often use technology and multimedia as tools to enhance instruction. John M. Keller contributed most of his career to helping educational technology. Keller rekindled the concept of motivation as an important element of any learning situation. Keller's motivational design model arcs is the result of his reaction to inadequacies in both behavioralist and cognitive theories of learning's inability to capture and account for learner motivation. Keller referred to his work on the motivational design of instruction as a macro theory, which consists of social learning theory, field theory, self-efficacy theory, and other motivational theories. Keller argues that motivation was educational technology's neglected heart, a philosophy generated from Plato's three parts of soul, which are one, wisdom or reason, which is associated with our heads and represents the deliberative or governing part of our behavior. Two, honor or spiritedness, which is associated with our chests or hearts and represents the executive influence on our behavior. And three, personal gain, which is related to the satisfaction of our bodily appetites. To examine Keller's model further, it is important to define a few key terms. Motivation. This refers broadly to what people desire, what they choose to do, and what they commit to do. Motivation consists of the amount of effort a person is willing to exert in pursuit of a goal. This is what gives motivation its magnitude and direction. Intrinsic motivation is motivation driven by internal factors such as beliefs, values, personal goals, and so on. Intrinsic motivation is the most commanding form of motivation. However, it is not always used as it requires greater skills to produce and sustain. Extrinsic motivation is that which is created through external factors, typically a promise of reward or punishment. Extrinsic motivation can cause the learner to focus on the consequences rather than the actions, which can result in dysfunctional ways of behaving, often driven by fear. Motivational design is the process of arranging resources and procedures to bring about changes in motivation. Motivational design is based on the scientific literature of human motivation and stands in contrast to charismatic motivational speakers and workshops whose aims are largely in the area of emotional arousal and are grounded in the, a blending of personal experiences, psychological principles, and intuition. The primary focus of this introduction to motivation design is on the motivation to learn and refers specifically to strategies, principles, and processes for making instruction appealing. Motivational design connects instruction to learner goals, provides stimulation and appropriate levels of challenge, and influences how the learner will feel following successful goal accomplishment or even failure. ARCS is the acronym for attention, 
relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. John Keller's ARCS model is a problem-solving approach to designing the motivational aspects of learning environments to stimulate and sustain students' motivation to learn. A. Attention. It refers to the perpetual arousal. It stimulates senses. Inquiry arousal stimulates thinking. Variability uses a range of different teaching methods. Relevance. It tends to be goal-oriented. It focuses on what the learner wants to achieve. It's motive matching. It aligns with the learner's basic motivations. Familiarity uses and builds recognition. The second part of the model, confidence and satisfaction, is a systematic design process that assists the learner motivational enhancements that are appropriate for a given set of learners. Confidence. It involves performance requirements, which uses standards to set expectations and provide evidence of learning. Success opportunity, which provides diverse ways to learn and succeed. Personal control. Gives the learner control over what they do so they feel it is they who are succeeding. Satisfaction. It involves intrinsic reinforcement. This encourages the pleasure of learning for its own sake or to achieve higher goals. Extrinsic rewards gives rewards and direct encouragement to learner. Equity keeps standards high so the learner knows what he or she is achieving. Attention, relevance, Confidence and Satisfaction are the four components of Keller's Motivational Design Model. His contributions to the field of educational technology has rightfully resurfaced motivation as an important part of learning instruction. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found this resource helpful and informative.